Hey guys, welcome back. It's Anna and today I'm going to be showing you another journal update. I am going to be doing a flip of my journal insert number 66 and whoa, not 68. That's not the correct one. 67. That's the one that follows right after. Um, I think in my last journal flip I kind of stopped halfway through this. So I've bookmarked exactly where I stopped. So as you can see, I kind of decorated the front. I think it was because of the Game of Thrones season finale that I found this sticker that kind of had a chair on it and I thought, oh, chair, throne. And then I used the Hand of the King seal and put like a wax seal on there for fun. And where did I stop? I think I stopped right here. So I don't, th I don't know what's going on here. There, there really wasn't a theme. There usually aren't a lot of themes going on in my journals. It's very random. We went to Top Pot, so I grabbed a postcard. I think they were free. Yes, they should be free, because otherwise I shoplifted right there. Um, I think that was our first time going to Top Pot uh, to get donuts and coffee. We went to the mall at some point, I think, and this was actually from a Madewell catalog. I thought the images were very pretty, so I decided to cut those out and stick those in. Uh, same here, I think that was a Madewell uh, brochure or thing. We were walking around, I think at this point we had gone to the zoo. We became members that day. And we were walking around the Ballard Farmer's Market, and they had a cool soap stand, and I thought the business card looked really cool, so I decided to grab that and stick it in here. Nothing Bunt Cake. Oh my goodness, if you guys live in the Bellevue area, we came across that bakery, and they make amazing bun cakes. They make mini ones, too, so if you don't want to go crazy on a giant bun cake... So good. They probably put like three sticks of butter into that mini bun cake, but it was delicious. So, stuck the sticker uh, from the bag onto that. More Madewell ad images in here. Not too much else going on. We built a fire that day. It was actually warm enough, or cool enough, to do that. And here, I'll try to do that so it kind of stays flat. And so I decided to try painting because I had, I took my watercolor set out and I decided to, you know, really start using it because I've had it since college, honestly, and I've not really touched it. And, you know, drew an ink bottle and quill, kind of messing around with my paints. And I, you can tell I'm trying to use up this washi tape particularly because I started edging all my pages with it. So that is pretty much the end of insert 66. Moving on to 67, as usual, I don't usually decorate the covers. I like mine very simple. Once in a while, I'll, I'll throw something on there. Uh, this time I have a Klimt the Dancer art sticker on there. That's what I like to stick in there. And still trying to use up a lot of this washi. I'll be honest, guys, in this insert, I was bored. It wasn't necessarily that I was well, I was bored in general as a person because our pod is still not here. We're just kind of at home or going out and I'm a homebody by nature. So it's just, I like being at home. And so when there's only one chair to sit on and not much else to do, I get bored. <laughs> like I like having my hobbies and all of my hobby things are pretty much packed. So. A, my insert really reflected that. I was trying to just slap things on there. You're going to see a lot of random collaging, a lot of just playing around with things because I was bored. And actually, in the end, it kind of made for a very fun insert in hindsight. So just playing around with some washi that I was trying to use up more using up of this washi here. Lots of random bits that I was trying to just glue in because I really wasn't aesthetically thinking about it. Drew a duck. This is like a little tidbit about how one time my nephew said he wanted 
a hundred bucks or he would like to win a hundred bucks and then my husband had said well what if I gave you a hundred ducks and it just kind of became a family joke after that and I started thinking about that the other day or the other whenever I was journaling this and I said you know if you really think about it the value of one duck is probably a lot more than a dollar because you have to pay for obviously that duck so I started looking up the prices of ducks and you know they go for five six dollars each and up depending on the duck breed so I drew a duck to indicate that story um, fun little fun little story there so as you can see I started slapping in a lot of die cuts and um, ephemera pieces because I was just bored guys when you feel uninspired I just say go for it don't think about like the the placement of things just throw things on there because in the end it might actually work out it might actually look really cool I kind of like the random look but yeah I'm just throwing things on there this page was a clear indicator that I was bored I was trying to use up this washi I had some Tim Holtz clear vellum that I put on top of that threw in some Tim Holtz ephemera die cut it doesn't look great but you know start collaging this was from when we went to the Burberry store and they had a cologne sample that my husband tried out so I decided to glue that in because it was a really nice card more just gluing things in I started playing a lot with color too because I started using my watercolor set um, I just opened a bar of soap this is the last of the Dead Sea salt bar soaps that my brother had gifted me one year for Christmas he got me a whole bunch and I kept the label and put that in here I really love this yellow this is I think cad cadmium yellow that's my favorite yellow shade of the watercolor shades I think um, I'm into the blues and the purples, but out of all the yellows, I think that's my favorite shade. Got the yogurt drinks from the Asian store. I used to love drinking those as a kid, so I got a pack when we went. I kept the little cap there. Um, I just opened a bottle of the Windsor Newton Art Inks. Um, I kept the purple one with me. Everything else is in the pod, so I decided to kind of play around and see what kind of gradients that I could get with it and I started using the styluses that I kept out with the or my dip pens with the ink and try to test out. I was thinking about different storage ideas for my bathroom and we went to an Asian restaurant. Oh and this is to document my trip to the Doc Martin store and Oh, this is when we went to the EMP in Seattle, so I kind of journaled that while we were there. I got a, a Star Trek badge, so I kind of sketched that in there. Oh, we were sitting outside, and the biggest mosquito or bug, I don't know what it was, but it was huge, and it was like this sized, actual size, just hanging out on the wall. It didn't bother anybody, but my goodness, the insects here in Washington are insanely large. So I, I wrote about that. <laughs> um, yeah, not too much going on in these pages. I got my monthly view insert for my traveler's passport size, so I kept the paper in there. Oh, this is one of my favorite um, sections of the journal just that kind of combination that looks really nice I love using vintage stamps as um, elements Robin Williams had a really good quote that said you are only given a little spark of madness you mustn't lose it I thought that kind of deserved its own page so it was a really good really good quote a bird had landed right on the roof and was just kind of hanging out so I sketched that quick and yeah, I was just kind of throwing things on there. 
Oh, I started planning out the guest room because we have a second office, well, second bedroom, which is gonna be my office when we get all our stuff. And the guest room is also gonna be in there too. So I started planning out all the things that I wanna do with the guest room and create like a little guest basket with, you know, mini things in case our guest uh, forgets something. So I have that all listed in there for fun. I started using some owl stickers that a pen pal sent me. Yeah, I was really going through my little ephemera box because I was just slapping things in there. My husband and I played Scategories for the first time, so I kept some of the first sheets that we'd filled out. More vintage stamps and ephemera. Um... Oh, we went to Green Lake Park for a picnic, and so I kept some things from that. We went to Pete's Coffee right after, and they had this really cool coconut tea drink that I've been trying to replicate at home now, but I kept the card. And, oh, we went to, what is this? The, can't remember, Indus the Science and Industry Museum in Seattle, too. And while we were at the park, there was a feather. I sanitized it before I kept it in here, but it was just floating around on the grass. So I decided to keep that. And then I started just kind of watercoloring um, while I was there. So that was kind of our view from the park. And that was really nice. It was so peaceful there. And I liked to people watch, and there are tons of people just walking around. Tons of Pokemon Go people. <laughs> just those are fun to watch. Um, and then I took pictures of our picnic. Here I was kind of testing out the colors for this scene right here. Hope this view is good and okay, guys. Um, this is the only way I can, I have it balanced on a cardboard box right now. So I apologize if I bump you. Oh, we went to Molly Moon, so I kept the tissue paper of that. And we recently got some canisters for like keeping flour and such from crate and barrel so i drew those in there i think i ink stained this with the tim holtz distress stains and oh these are like a cool design of bunny tiles if only i could afford that i would totally tile my whole bathroom with that um you know what this stuff isn't bad i'm I've been trying to find vegan options for cheese because I'm actually lactose intolerant, but I push through it and I eat cheese anyway, which I don't think is good for you, but and I don't recommend it, um, but it kind of comes and goes for me, so sometimes I just want a vegan option. And I tried the Heidi Ho um, cashew cheese, because I heard cashew cheese is really good, and this isn't bad, actually. This has a really great kind of goat cheesy consistency. And I've tried a lot, so that's actually saying something. Um, this was a really cool crate and barrel chair and table set. I really liked the chairs. Crazy expensive, but I thought the picture was really nice, so I decided to put that in there. Um, yeah, you can see I'm just kind of playing with color and just playing with my watercolors. And these are my ink tense pencils that I filled in, just adding a lot. Um, I think these are Crate and Barrel shelves that I really liked. And then I was using up washi, so I kind of edged the back of that image there. More watercolor playing there. And then I went to Daniel Smith, because I realized we had a Daniel Smith store in the area, and got a few tubed watercolors, and I started playing with those. So these are some of the new colors that I got. Really liked that journal card there. And I miss drawing floor plans. Um, that's something that I used to do back in school because I come from an interior design background. So I thought I'd play around with kind of planning out my own floor plans. Thought that would be fun. I'm gonna start doing that. It's just like a fun little thing to add to my journals. I ordered something from Meow Meow Tweet, um, which is a green beauty company, so I kept the card there. More colors, lots of lots of watercolor. Playing around with paints and trying to draw flowers. Flower petals. 
I really like birds. I'm a birder. I'm a 90-year-old woman trapped in a 30-year-old body, so that's just one of my favorite things to draw, and I decided to start watercoloring birds. I really like this color. That's I kind of threw that around everywhere on the page. And Pokemon Go is like my husband's new favorite thing, so I thought, oh, maybe I'll start drawing Pokemon again, because that's what I used to draw a lot as a kid. So I thought I'd do that, some architecture sketching. And some magazine cutouts. Quick sketching, that was when we were at Green Lake Park again. I didn't actually finish this bird watercolor. I'm actually gonna go back in and do that. So that's okay guys, you know, if you don't finish something, just come back to it. Nobody needs to know that, you know, oh, they didn't finish that journal, they started another one. Who cares? I mean, you, you can always go back and fill in things and that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, more bird watercolors. I got these images from several different Instagram accounts that I follow on um, with that just are photographs of birds. So I just take screenshots and then I'll, I'll sketch them out and paint them. So there's another bird watercolor. I just finished that one recently. And I think we're getting to the end of it. This was a really cool picnic image from a 1956 Better Homes and Garden. They reprinted the image and did like a picnic article. So, and because we've started picnicking, I thought that would be appropriate. More magazine and catalog cutouts. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys liked that journal flip. Let me know um, what you guys think or if you guys have a journal flip yourself, definitely feel free to post a link or tell me what your account is and I'll go check it out because I love looking at different people's pages and see how people journal. So I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye!